I have a pocket full of meat. Okay, where do they meet? Mine. 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 In the oh, movie. Nice. Well, I mean, yeah, the DJs, they, they were hoping that by now we would have that kind of technology. So you, so this is, I don't know, I kind of like the shoes that you put on and push a button and then they fit. Yeah. Or the jacket you put on and push a button and it just automatically fits to your size. Yeah, or like when it gets wet and it dries itself up. Yeah. Yeah, they invented that technology. Yeah. Yeah. Let's use a practical stuff. Yeah, get that, get that. Uh, yeah, but I think it's a size of the 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 size Another 
best friends. I wonder if you are. No, 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 your mother's.
planning on it. I have a picture I took a screenshot of um, the video from when they did the seniors for the band night. I was watching it on the digital uh, streaming and did a screenshot of the digital streaming. So mom and dad walking with Lexi. Yeah. I might um, if you guys take me home, I might swing up and go get more ice. Because I got two bags, but I honestly don't think. This? I don't know. I say we all dip out of this. <laughs>
right? I think that was
classmates, families, and friends. Please welcome the senior members of the Chardon Choir as they perform Chardon High School's alma mater. When the alma mater is complete, we may be seated on the choir forms for senior home selections for the class of 2021.
It is my honor to welcome all of you to the 148th commencement exercise of Chardon High School. Back home at Chardon Memorial Field on a Memorial Day weekend, in a year where we all have said, sure, why not? Or, you mean we can only take two? Or, I love your mask, how it matches your outfit. To move commencement and a year of change certainly fits the novel or movie that we can make about this year. We are so, so appreciative for your flexibility and understanding to work towards preserving this day for our students. We've heard it before, but I will say it today. Today is a beautiful day. Today I welcome members of the Chardon Board of Education, our commencement speaker, Mrs. Denise Hagen, a 1995 Chardon graduate, a young entrepreneur and owner of Diaz for Delicious Cookies, our district administration, treasurer, faculty, the faculty members from Chardon local schools, the parents, families, and guests to our graduates, and of course, the members of the class of 2021. Today, we celebrate our graduates. Well over a year ago, our world paused. Everything we knew, experienced, and prepared for felt frozen in time, and every corner of industry and every person connected to it, directly and indirectly, had to learn how to operate under new boundaries. Within that was you. The class of both 2020 and now 2021 were impacted by a virus that shook everything that our districts prepared for and look forward to. Throughout this entire year, we have spoken about how we choose our response to any event. Our students were longing for normalcy as we entered this school year. They needed each other, and they knew that in order to have school, sports, marching band, choir, or extracurricular activities, we were going to need to work together, be mindful, safe, and precautious towards every encounter. Sorry. Our students and staff not only did it well, we modeled this for others. Our students are selfless and resilient. Our staff saw the desire to learn throughout all the numerous learning models that our seniors had to lead through and model grace throughout the year. Our seniors understand the importance of hard work, valued work ethics, collaboration, and finishing what they started. There are so many accomplishments that this class will be noted for. National Merit Scholars, AP Scholars, National Service Awards, League Championships, District, Sectional, Regional Championships, and known throughout Ohio as State Champions. And this will be continued 
accompanied by those, the members of the class of 2021 and our track athletes as they compete next week for their state meet. In a year of no, they worked for yes. Let us give them a round of applause. present inside of Chardon Memorial Field feels right. We are home. The one thing that everyone from this small city knows is that when someone asks you where you are from, you proudly say you are from Chardon. Today we are commencing students to their next starting line, and we welcome and become active participants in their commencement story. As a proud graduate, I ask all past alum from Chardon High School to please stand so that we can proudly recognize you. That's what it means to be from Chardon. It's your home, and you love your home, and you come back. The class of 21 follows the treasured history of our alumni. In a similar tone, each year we take the time to recognize our golden anniversary of Chardon alumni, some who are in the audience. If you look on the last page of your program, you will note the graduates of class of 1971 listed. Chardon has a strong and rich history. We honor and celebrate this history by recognizing the golden anniversary of our alumni. Tradition never graduates, and all of our graduates celebrate your story just as you celebrate the students who will celebrate their commencement today. Please join me, and if you are present, the class of 1971, in a round of applause. graduate, I stand with all alum in celebrating the accomplishments and contributions to our community. The definition of commencement has two parts. There's the traditional use of the word, a ceremony in which degrees or diplomas are conferred. And then there's a second part, the definition where it's a beginning or a new start. Today, we are celebrating both. I would like to focus on the second part, which highlights your new beginning and the power of love. The students at Chardon High School know me very well. They know that I'm a man of many words, but truly, I will make them to the point today. The students know my heart. I'm so unbelievably proud of your accomplishments. I cannot express in simple words what you mean to me. You have accomplished so many tasks this year as leaders of Chardon High School. You're resilient, compassionate, hilarious, and so talented. You matter. You have learned, experienced, and served in so many ways as a servant leader of this school, and I couldn't be more proud than I am this day. I have one more lesson for you, a lesson to learn during your commencement. It's a lesson on love. Graduates, you don't ever have to do anything sensational in order to love people or have people love you. I have discovered early on in my life that the real drama of life is never meant to be on the center stage or in the spotlight. In fact, it has little to do with the IQs and honors outside that fancy of life. What ultimately nourishes each of us is knowing that we can be trusted, that we never have to fear the truth, that the foundation of our very being is the effort we put forward into action that ultimately nourishes our goodness. Graduates, you are so gifted and talented. Your class emulates success academically, athletically, socially, and within this community. I could speak of all of you individually sharing your goodness, but when your one request was to turn this not into the weekend reflection. But really, what is goodness without sharing? Your parents, your teachers have watched you grow daily, and we are very proud and honor of you today. Many people state that you are the future. You are more than that. You are the strength today. I'm so very proud of you. Denise Hagan, 
is a proud, lifelong resident and Chardon graduate. Wife to Paul, 20 years. Mother, three beautiful daughters, Delaney, McKenna, and Keeley. She's an entrepreneur, an owner of Dia's Delicious. She is so excited and humbled to speak to the class of 21. Denise has a beautiful story that began much like the students navigating the halls of Chardon schools, graduating in 1995. Like many students, Denise left Chardon searching for her purpose and calling. She found her way to Ohio University, graduating in 1999 with a Bachelor of Arts in Education, followed by a master's degree from Walden University in 2008 in Integrating Technology. Her energy, passion, and creativity started as an elementary school teacher filling in for a teacher at Munson, and then she navigated her waves through several Geauga County schools before being hired at Kenston Intermediate School. Her journey with her family led her to decorate her life with giving, sharing, and educating. She never dreamed that Dia Super Delicious would outgrow her home and take her on one of the most rewarding adventures of her life. Many of you have met her. Most of you have tasted those delectable cookies. Today, we get to share her love and passion with you. Families and graduates, please welcome Mrs. Denise Hagen. and was named homecoming queen. As I've spent time reflecting back on my own graduation day 26 years ago, I don't remember much other than the excitement for what was yet to come. I didn't have a sense really of who I was or what I was good at or what I loved, but I was looking forward to heading off to OU. Any Bobcats in the house? Oh yeah. I declared a major in physical therapy, although in hindsight, I have no idea why. Everyone else seemed to have their life figured out, so I just went with it. Maybe you have a game plan for your next step in life, or maybe you don't. Don't worry, you're not alone, no matter how you're feeling. I hope that what I'm about to share with you will give you even more courage and confidence as you begin this next stage in life. As a freshman at OU, I quickly discovered that I need to rethink my major after bombing my science classes freshman year. And as in bombing my classes, I mean I took the same class twice and failed it twice. Absolutely nothing in those classes made any sense to me. And as it turns out, science is pretty important when it comes to physical therapy. Who knew? Guess I should have since I claimed it for my life. So since science wasn't my thing, I didn't know what was my thing. So I had to hit reset in my life and figure out a new game plan. Before the days of social media, texting, and emailing, we communicated with people the old-fashioned way, handwritten letters. Old school snail mail. One of my pen pals in college was one of my favorite teachers from high school, Miss Smith. You now know her as Mrs. Butella. Our handwritten letters back and forth helped open my eyes to what I ought to consider doing next, teaching. Her impact on my life, as well as the influence from so many other teachers along the way, led me to a career that seemed way more fitting for me. I was naturally pretty positive and encouraging. I loved kids, and I wanted to make a difference in their lives the way that my teachers had done in mine. If I hadn't found those science classes and started in elementary education classes, 
I would have never been in classes with my now husband, Paul. We graduated in 1999. We got married shortly after and got settled into our new teaching positions. He is a middle school teacher and I was a fourth grade teacher. In 2004, we welcomed our first child, a little girl named Delaney. Many of you know Delaney. She plays the shaker in the marching band here. I have to take a second here just to let you guys know how grateful I am for all of you and how the rest of CHS has just loved on her and accepted her. Part of the reason why I was so excited about speaking to you today was to let you know my thanks from the bottom of my heart for helping to make Sharon High School a place where people can feel like they belong. Thank you. A special shout out to the percussion seniors and to Campbell in particular for not letting Delaney get run over on the field by the other musicians. When you have your first child, you expect it to go a certain way. And much like how I expected college to go, being a first-time mom didn't quite go the way I planned it would either. Delaney didn't reach the milestones she was supposed to reach at the right times. The neighborhood playgroup that we are a part of had babies all making eye contact, rolling over, babbling, crawling, sitting up, walking, talking. But mine wasn't yet. We started early intervention when Delaney was just a few months old and she had her own version of a baby IEP right out of the gate. I replaced playgroups and time with friends with physical, occupational, and speech therapy sessions. We saw more doctors and specialists than I cared to remember as we searched for answers as to why her development was so delayed. I desperately wanted to understand what her future would look like. Searching for answers became an obsession. It was an unhealthy one. I feel like I lost myself for a few years as I struggled with the uncertainty of her future. I withdrew and isolated myself. I felt so alone and so scared. And I didn't talk about my feelings. I just kept it all in, which I don't recommend at all. I resigned from teaching to be a full-time mom to my now two daughters at home. Maybe you've experienced a difficult season like this in your life. Maybe you're in one now, or maybe you will be in the future. But there's hope. There comes a time when you know you have to peel yourself up, up off the ground, dust yourself off, and start climbing that hill again to get out of the valley. We can do it. We're hilltoppers. During my climb out of this dark valley, God tossed me a unique life preserver, cookies. Now, I know that sounds so random, so let me explain. It was 2011, you guys were cute little second graders at the time, and I had been following a friend's crafty blog. She kept posting pictures of these adorable cookies she was decorating. I had always been into creative outlets, like scrapbooking and just crafty stuff in general. So I figured this would be a really fun thing to try. So I tested it out. I made the dough, I made the icing, I made an absolute mess of our kitchen. And I spent hours getting lost in decorating cookies. I made them for my daughter McKenna's birthday. And I don't remember the shape or the outcome, but I do remember how therapeutic the whole decorating process was for me. I literally got lost as I took a blank canvas and turned it into something else. It was like edible crafting. At my kind birthday party, one of my friends there asked if I'd make them for her daughter's upcoming birthday. And then someone at that party asked where these cookies came from. She wanted me to make them for her daughter's birthday as well. And while that cycle continued, Dia's for Delicious was born. I never intended for this to happen. But it did, and I'm convinced that it really helped to rescue me. About seven years after that first batch of cookies, our house had slowly turned into a full-blown cookie factory. Like, our kitchen table wasn't even in our kitchen anymore. It was in our living room. And there were racks all over the kitchen walls to keep cookies up and out of the way of our now three daughters. Cookie supplies multiplied, and they were just everywhere. I was holding cookie decorating classes every month and enjoyed teaching other people how to decorate and enjoy this therapeutic activity. 
I was taking on huge orders that were much larger than what our standard home kitchen could handle. That poor oven was on all day, every day. My business had grown to a point that I knew I had to either take the next step and open a storefront, yikes, or stop making cookies altogether. That's sad. The decision was terrifying. I didn't want to quit, but I wasn't equipped to open a shop. I had no business background, no banking or pastry training, no credentials, completely unqualified. But what I did have was determination, grit, and tenacity, and I had a passion for what I was doing. My big break, or sign, came in 2017. I received an email that had a subject line that I just about deleted because it seemed like junk mail. It said, greetings from the queue. I read what followed and my jaw dropped. Someone from Quicken Loans Arena, formerly now known as um, uh, Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, was reaching out to see if I'd be interested in working with them to make cookies for their special events during the 2017-2018 season. They had found me on social media and they wanted to meet in person and asked if I could bring some samples of some calcium cookies along. I met with their banquet manager and it felt like one of those baking shows where they eat your creation right in front of you and it's the scariest moment ever. She chewed that cookie and it seemed like an hour. She loved it and I loved all the orders that I started to get from them. I felt like this big break was my sign, and I felt confident in moving forward with opening a storefront. I spent the next year researching cookie shops all across the country, talking to bakery owners and every business owner that was willing to answer my questions. My husband learned everything he could about commercial kitchen equipment. Team Hagen set out on our cookie shop adventure together, and we opened in 2018. Do it scared became my mantra, and I wore it on this bracelet every day. It's under there. I wore it every day as a reminder to myself when it become paralyzed in fear, because it happened a lot. I reminded myself that you just have to keep going. Doing something outside of our comfort zone doesn't feel good or safe. It might even make your skin crawl because of how scary it is. But I feel like in those kinds of moments, we experience the most growth. Growth isn't supposed to feel safe or comfortable. Changing and evolving is uncomfortable. But let me tell you, it's worth it. The cookie shop has become a place far more special than I have ever dreamed. I have connected with such incredible people, like many of you here today. And I just love that my team and I get to be a part of so many people's special celebrations in life. And I still get to teach cookie decorating classes, which let me tell you, is way more fun than fourth grade science. Having never given a big speech like this before, I just wondered what I would have wanted someone to say to me when I was sitting where you are now. So I told you my story because I wish that someone would have told me that not everyone has it all figured out already. And that even if I did have it figured out, God might just have a different plan altogether that might be more amazing. So just go live and live big. Run fast, fall down, get up, and just love the journey. I have become the Denise that's talking to you today because of my journey, the good parts and the bad. I'll bet none of you would have planned for a global pandemic during your senior year. But here it is, and here you are too. And you that is sitting here now is something even more special because of what you have just been through. Class of 2021, you bunch of talented, dedicated, and bright shining stars. Look around the stadium. No, seriously, stop and just look and take it all in for just a moment. This is the moment, the moment you have been working so hard for. You did it. You're here. You did it. Not someone else, you. You did it. 
So in the end, I didn't really have to tell you anything because you overcame the obstacles. You did it scared. And you can and will do it again because you, class of 2021, are something really special. The rest of us better just hold on to our seats as you launch out of here and show the world what you'll become. Graduates, thank you for having me today, but I almost forgot. Speaking of holding on to your seats, I've always loved it when there's a fun surprise at the end of something like this, where you say, oh, check under your seat to see if you've won. I really wish I had had 259 gift cards, but I put 21 gift cards under your seats to give you something a little bit sweet, so you can check and see if you won. <laughs> Keep shining, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. Your passion, creativity, and kindness, your endless energy and love for our community is a perfect description, not only of this class, but a profile of our high school graduates. Now it is my pleasure to introduce our valedictorians and salutatorians who will share with us a quote that has influenced their lives. Val and Sal, please stand and come forward. And we will begin with Abigail Ashley. Abigail, actually, if you look for the light, you can often find it, but if you search for the dark, that's all you'll ever see. to see the whole staircase, just take the first step by Martin Luther King Jr. My name is Catherine Poppin. Everyone wants to be the sun to brighten up someone's life, but why not be the moon to shine on someone's darkest hour? grateful for them, even if they were never meant to be in your life forever. Diane Nguyen. My name is Tate Farinacci, and I'd like to remind all of you that you cannot go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are now and change the ending. Thank you. My name's Cynthia Fisak. Don't wait. The time will never be just right. I'm Jeffrey Fletcher. Uh, it does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you do not stop. Confucius. I'm Ethan 
first, everything is theoretically impossible until it's done. My name is Anna Gerstner, and my quote is, you have light and peace inside of you. If you let it out, you can change the world around you. Peter Rowe. Uh, my biggest takeaway from this year is that uh, in the future, when I have my own kids and they're complaining about school, I can say, I went to school during a pandemic, tough enough. <laughs> Stevens. Uh, if when you look in the mirror, you don't see the perfect version of yourself, you better see the hardest working version of yourself. Chris Bump. I'm Jack Sweet. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you did do than by the ones you did. So throw off the bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor. Catch the trade winds in your sails. Explore, dream, discover. Mark Twain. Uh, I'm Elliot Zminski. Uh, reserving judgments is a matter of infinite hope. F. Scott Fitzgerald.
Please welcome the class of 2021 Executive Student Council President Jesse Desipeda and Senior Executive Officers Catherine Condon, Karen Landis, Luke Jowski, and Annie Sweet who will address their classmates. Hi there, family, friends, mentors. Wow, what a ride it has been. What a ride. Most of you can probably still remember when we were in the fifth grade, we graduated from elementary school, and parents were probably thinking, wow, it's so crazy, oh my goodness, look how big Brandon is getting, wow, oh my god, get the cameras, look how big Brandon is, or, oh my gosh, little cutie Mike Carl's going up so fast, oh my gosh, and we were only 10. Eight years go by, and all of a sudden, we're all adults. If it was crazy back then, I can only imagine what you guys are thinking now. Um, but through these years, not only have we physically transformed into adults, but our minds and our characters as well. Thanks to God, family, our friends, teachers, and everyone else who has impacted our lives, we can stand up here and say that we're graduating from Chardon High School and are fully equipped with everything we need in order to successfully move on to the next chapter of our lives. But most of all, thank you to our Chardon High School core values, of course, because without those, we could not be good people that we are today. And what kind of speech would a Mr. Murray supervised speech be without a mention of our highly esteemed core values, of course? <laughs> all joking aside, the values of community, humility, achievement, respect, dignity, optimism, and nurture are a great foundation and embodiment of the culture that we all hold here at CHS. Community. Growing up in Chardon, the sense of community is instilled at a young age by constantly supporting our members, whether it comes to attending football games, the Maple Festival, our Fourth of July fireworks, the Christmas tree lighting, and more. Most would say the Chardon community is one of a kind, and we can all agree that Chardon is a special place that we will remember forever as we move on to our future plans. We are so lucky to have the privilege of saying that we're from Chardon, a community that sticks together and supports every member. The difference between our hometown and others is that when people ask where we're from, we are proud to say we are from Chardon. Wherever we go in the future, we know that we will always have the community behind us to catch us when we fall and celebrate us when we succeed. But through our pride and strong sense of community, we remain humble. Humility. Humility is one of the most powerful and important aspects of growth, both in and out of the classroom. Being humble helps to build trust and is inspiring to those around us. It allows us to build each other up and reach our fullest potential. I will wrap this up with one of my favorite quotes about humility. Sit down. Be humble. Kendrick Lamar. Achievement. When thinking about Chardon High School and the students that walk our halls, achievement is something that can be seen at every quarter. Whether it's athletic, musical, artistic, or academic, every person in our school, but specifically the class of 2021, has strived for and accomplished many feats. Big achievements, such as qualifying for states and track, being valedictory in our, you know, state champs. Uh, their accolades are defined Chardon High School. They highlight the hard work and dedication that each person puts into their given activity day after day. As stated many times by a class of 2021 graduate, Dylan Friend, it can at times feel like, no, we're always in the trenches and never in the spotlight. But I'm sure for us linemen and the clarinets or you baritones that want to be tenors, it's a pretty valid statement, but our class has a great understanding that every person plays an important role in the grand scheme of our success, so we embrace our roles. Inspirational junior captain Nick Fay once said, what we do in the darkness shines in the light. And he was absolutely right. The 6 a.m. workouts where my quads and lungs would barely make it alive, the hours of singing on Wednesday mornings, sacrificing our wonderful late starts. The late night after late night that most of us, definitely not all of us, but a good portion of us, endured trying to finish homework and preparing for exams. 
all of this hard work and perseverance that each and every one of us have, no matter the size of our role, is ultimately what makes the class of 2021 so special. It is the driving force to start high school's astounding achievement. Respect. Respect plays such an important role in the Chardon High School community. COVID-19 has impacted our whole community in so many different ways. This is no exception for our senior class. But instead of letting this obstacle put a wedge between us, we have used it to build a bridge to connect us. We have used the trials of this pandemic to build mutual respect for our peers and the struggles we share. Faculty, staff, and students now have a unique understanding that respect is truly a two-way street. As students of CHS, we have a special relationship with our teachers and administrators because they respect us just as much as we respect them. Dignity. Through this respect, CHS students have developed a notable sense of dignity. We hold our heads high and are proud to say we are from Chardon. No matter how far into the future, this will never change. Senior mentors help their freshmen to adjust to the high school atmosphere. Students involved in service learning put in hours of service to benefit the Sharon community. Seniors on the football team coached and encouraged younger players, those sweet, sweet boys. Students at National Honor Society collected cereal boxes and donated them to the maple to be used in a fun project for kindergartners. These are just a few examples of the nurturing acts that the students in the class of 2021 have completed this year. I am confident that my peers graduating beside me today This is the moment you've all been waiting for. Your entire educational life has called you to this moment. Today is the day that all of your hard work will lead you to the beginning of the four E's. Graduates, please stand when I call the pathway that you are entering. If you are enrolling into a two or four year college, please stand. into the armed forces, please stand. And if you are being employed within a career of being a young entrepreneur, please stand. class. 
device, which follows an older version of the state's graduation pathways, all three of them that we're trying to track, this path was able to earn 674 graduation seals this year, which is for the class of 2023, but you earned them this year. Let's give them a round of applause. On behalf of the faculty and the administration of Chardon High School, I certify that these members of the class of 2021 qualify for graduation by having successfully completed all of the requirements of the Ohio Department of Education and have met the standards set forth by the Chardon Local Schools Board of Education. from calling out or shouting during the recognition of the graduates. We're here. We want to be able to hear everyone's name um, until every, every student has been named at this time. Abigail Marie Bresnai. Taylor Marie Ruth Cox. <laughs> Jessica Michaela Drake. Tate Griffin Farinacci. <laughs> Cynthia Aisha Fizak. <laughs> Jeffrey Thomas Fletcher. Ethan Raymond first. Anna Grace Gerstner. James Thomas Granger. Mackenzie 
Lane Morris. Kayla Marie Knorr. Louisa Rose Petrowski. Jacob Bryce Stevens. Jack Donato Sweets. <laughs> Elliot James Timinski. Karen Elizabeth Landis. Anne Marin Sweets. Haley Emma Bear. Lacey Lynn A.B. Brittany Noel Adams. Madison Nicole Arganti. Kate Bjorn. Sarah Elizabeth Boggs. Kate Martha Bradley. Adriana Paisley Brickman. Charlie Alton Broch. Christian James Bross. Mackenzie Marie Brown. Emily Joy Brown. Emily Ann Brush. Aiden John Burkholder. Maximus Thomas Buzidani. Shane David Callahan. Bailey Christine Cathan. Mateo Juan Chavero. John Thomas Chesnus. Anthony Corey Chismar. Robert Allen Sizak. So 
Hayden William Co. Logan Edward Coles. Alexandra Mackenzie Corrigan. Dominic Michael Corsillo. Andrew George Cusick. Nicholas Richard Cusick. Morgan Olivia DeBevick. Victoria Rose Detweiler. Violet Rose Detweiler. Corey Allen Deutsch. Delaney Lynn DeFranco. Vincent Michael DiGeronimo. Caitlin Cecile Dobay. Mary Kate Douglas. Mason James Douglas. <laughs> Liam Tyler Down. Kevin Kenneth Doyle. Bradley Cole Duchamp. Sarah Elizabeth Eldridge. Emerald Diego Esquivel. Anne Marie Christian Evans. Isabella Morgan Evans. Lily Danielle Ezel. Jaden Michael Ferris. Let's go, Jaden! Nicholas David Fay. Angelo John Ferrante. Vincent Michael Ferrante. Andrew Robert Fetchick the Fourth, Alexis Danielle Fishley, Mackenzie Ariel Flores, Abigail Elizabeth Frenia. Dylan Michael Friend. <laughs> Zachary Lynn Frog. <laughs> Austin James Fry. Madison Renee Fry. Finley Margaret First. Mason John Gamir. Lorelai Kelly Gandalf Glover. Did you video? I can't see this anymore. 
Evan John Gardner. Thomas Joseph George. Lauren Elizabeth Gessel. Emma Kate Giddens. Catherine Alexandra Giza. Jeremy Andrew Gorse. Elena Marie Goss. Cecilia Jane Kula. McKenna Lee Hack. Arabella Rose Elaine Holler. Margaret Gamulak. Hayden Thomas Howder. Madison Lee Hauser. <laughs> Selena Hernandez Razo. <laughs> Ashley Madison Henningman. Brian Matthew Hoffinger. Zoe Neve Horn. Haley Eileen Hoynes. Autumn Rosella Humberson. Max Robert Hunziker. Jocelyn Isabel Grace Janda. Nicholas John Janicek. Jami Marie Desai. Gabriella Lynn Jessling. Matthew Joseph Klosky. Martin Lachlan Conan. That's Lachlan. Robert Lawrence Cozy Jr. Angelica Lasota. Christina Lebedev. Molly Rebecca Lee. Lindsay Marie Leggett. Yeah! Brandon Richard Lazinski.
Samantha Grace Lichty. Liliana Louise Livingood. Jason Charles Longcar. McKinnon David Love. Logan Matthew Lundblad. Sydney Lane Lynch. Audrey Lynn Mannery. Andrea Christine Mann. Alyssa Marie Manning. Brandon Michael Marn. Ethan Joseph Marshall. Lainey Marie McBean. McDevitt. Shannon Marissa McFall. Jared James McGill. Matthew James McGreevy. Brianna May McKenzie. William Merritt McKnight. Sky Malaro. Elena Kaylee Muni. Owen Andrew Myers. Emma Ryan Nixick. Emma 
Grace Norton. Kyle Jacob Nugent. Bridget Louise O'Reilly. Simon Christopher Ogrins. William Lawrence Ogrins. Jenna Grace Oriani. Ivan Orozco. Alexia Paulina Peros Gasser. Jada Catherine Payne. Honey mustard. Benjamin James Perry. Jackson James Perry. Bob says his dad is cooking. I think. Colin Michael Purs. Ethan Robert Peterson. Bernard James Pettyjohn Jr. Caitlin Elizabeth Prince. Alexander Logan Reed. Autumn Trinity Reese. Rachel Marie Vitale. Jared Christopher Russo. Madison Lauren Russo. Jake Patrick Ryan. Slapnicker. 
Fiona Marie Slaymaker. Gavin Christopher Slay. Emily Ann Spangler. Joseph Marco Spuljari. Marina Juliana Spazillo. Willard James Squires. Olivia Grace St. James. Scott Davis Stasser. John Joseph Stegg II. Emma Grace Sternagel. Alexander Joseph Straka. Angela Marin Suez. Skylar Andrew Sullivan. Amelia Lynn Swanky. Campbell Mallory Tierney. Braden Michael Toth. Colin Andrew Toth. Anthony Paul Trampty. Jonah Harold Michael Toscano. Executive Student Council officers, so please come forward in front of their peers. May I ask the class of 21 to please stand? It is time to turn your tassels.
Congratulations to the class of 2021. We wish you many blessings, and we thank all of you in the crowd here at Sharp Memorial Field celebrating this moment with us today. Congratulations. And play that funky music. Thank you. 